Hello, hello, people. Hello, viewers. Hello, viewers. Hello, people. <laughs> hello, <laughs> another beautiful day. Yeah, hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. All right, excellent. What? What's 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 up? What's up, uh, Linux gamers? Laptop, desktop. What's up, Steam Deck fans? Hey, <laughs> what I got for you guys? Yeah, got some. Got, got, I got I got I got some news for you. Yeah, the news. Yeah. Got you covered, man. You know, we 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 uh we we does this. You know, I gotta try to. Pull. I got two. I got two videos coming, so I will be actually make that uh three. I have three videos coming, so I will be uploading all three at the same time. So be expecting it. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah. Um. I, I keep it. Uh. I keep you guys. Uh, keep you guys in the loop, man. Keep you guys in the loop. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. What do we have? What do we have? For you Steam Deck fans, we got some news. We got some news. <laughs> and the news are always happening, man. In this game, especially in this gaming industry, man. You know, okay, you know. I choose the Steam Deck, and yeah. And I gotta keep, 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 keep my, keep, keep the viewers up to date. They don't, they don't want to hear no excuses, you know. All right. What do we have? All right, let's do this. Now, got two got two updates here. Okay, let's see here. Steam De Steam slash Steam Deck stable client update release fixes lots of bugs. Yeah, lots of them. Oh yeah, I got two articles here, one from Gaming on Linux and one from PC Gamer. So uh, I will be, you yeah you will you will have bug your your needs will your needs and wants will be met anyway. Let's see which article shot tackle first here. Eh, either one it says here uh, Valve has have released the latest stable update to the Steam Deck client today for PC and Steam Deck, which fixes a whole lot of issues. This bundles up all the changes from many multiple beta releases, and there's a lot to go over. One of the interesting tweaks is that Valve adjusts the CSS to reduce future leaks. I guess they were growing a little tired of certain people scrapping it constantly to see what they're working on. I wonder if they have something specific coming up they don't want spoiled. What do you think? Yep. Eh, Steam Deck too. <laughs> anyway, says here, uh, the change log is the same across desktop and Steam Deck. Since this is a Steam client update, the full list of change logs are ready. Oh, yeah, it's a nice little list. Says fix Steam client menus opening in separate windows from main windows after sleep slash account change. Fix crash when playing. Uh, back certain media in Steam music player. Fix issues loading and, and uh, saving the app uh, achievement cache file, which is some uh, which in some cases cause excessive memory usage in Steam web helper. Fix uh, notification not being displayed on Windows when the desktop is focused. Fix notification uh, intermittently being uh, queued until a game is launched. Reduce network traffic at startup and uh, reconnect. Fix regression causing Steam news button to not work. Fix secondary context menu opening when right clicking open context menu. Fix an error when launching some games that was introduced in the previous beta. Uh, if a game failed to update, sh show why on the detail page as well as the download page. Fix embedded browser view showing with high contrast settings when enables on Windows, making uh, um, went on Windows. Made uh, taking screenshot more responsive. Increase brightness of HDR screenshots. Modify CSS uh, class names to reduce package size and reduce feature leaks. I mean, uh, feature leaks. Hmm. Says here, uh, okay, that, that was for general, now for big picture mode. It says fix an issue where after playing a game, it would require extra B button press to back out of the game library page and then fix support alert message intermittently uh, produce an error at startup. 
and that's big picture mode the first set of uh update i gave you was uh general bit then i gave you big picture mode and now it's for steam cloud it says fixed case where files for one steam uh, account could be overwritten by files from another steam account if the first account had logged in but not played the game yet on the device and that's for steam cloud okay now for steam input and this nice low size one it says here uh, steam input it says here new configurator features and then it says swap left and with right while uh, editing a controller configuration you can swap the behavior um, of the left stick and the right stick or the left trackpad or the right trackpad etc highlight the source you want to swap in the edit layout page and the y button should appear to allow the swap this should be handy for south paw then it says new mouse action reset to horizon this help can reset your camera to the horizon by sending 180 degrees down and then 90 degrees uh, up after a very short delay this action can be uh, bound to any uh, activation uh, slot new mouse action turn camera 360 by default this will generate 360 degrees of uh, of our uh, rotation new mouse action turn to face direction when activating this the camera will turn to face the direction you are pushing on the left stick default trackpad um, uh, d-pad buttons can also be used uh, can be combined with reset to horizon to produce behavior similar to splatoon camera reset uh, action then it says a uh, note the new mouse action all requires dots per 360 to calibrate for any of them to be accurate to do this use turn camera 360 in combination with either flick stick or gyro to mouse and and make sure that one press of your turn camera 360 360 make one 360 tur turn in game if it does not uh, tune the dot per 360 settings from the controller quick setting menu you do not have to use gyro to mouse or flick stick after this step then it says uh the flick stick mode uh, template will now default to binding to correct stick click but only in mouse only or fixed config uh, templates add inverted command uh, binding for flick stick outer ring commands add an option to allow flick flick stick to trigger a flick turn if the stick is thrown when action sets slash action layer slash mode shift is activated and then it says fix steam deck configurator template flick stick uh, default uh, binding gyro button uh, picker you can now choose from any combination of pre ex uh, pre-existing uh, gyro enabling button this replaces the gyro activation uh, uh, drop down then it says conf config default mouse template and mix mouse gamepad template now use gyro to mouse instead of as mouse gyro to joystick mode now no longer generates aptic events when outside the active range then it says in parentheses on these controllers with aptic support close parentheses and it says a aptic bump will occur when gyroscope is turned on and off due to the gyro enable slash disable slash toggle button if it's aptic are not set to off choose to disable slash enable this from the gyro button uh, pick uh, uh, picker then it says add dual sense and dual shot gyro enable slash disable slash toggle center touch and center click for complete to help with certain paddle uh, mods then it says fix inverted access when using setup device input fix swaps a slash b button when using nintendo gamecube controller uh, then it says user interface joystick mouse dead zone controls now use common dead zone 
editor. And that was for a Steam input. Now, for remote play, it says greatly improve uh, streaming performance on newer AMD cards, increase brightness of HDR streaming, add support for full HDR to HDR streaming when streaming from a window, streaming from a window PC using NVIDIA or NVIDIA hardware acceleration to another Windows PC or Mac with an HDR display. The computer uh, receiving the stream must have enhanced 1080p, that's pix pixel, that's 1080 pixels, 1080p, or 4K, 4000 pixels, uh, enables in the Steam Remote Play advanced client settings. Then it says fix the streaming button, uh, staying stuck on stop when the streaming client exists quickly. Then it says fix installation of Steam streaming audio driver on Mac OS 14.3 plus. Then it says fix missing audio when streaming from Mac OS. Then it says fix occasional black screen flickering when streaming from Mac OS. Then it says improve recovery from network uh, disconnection before starting the stream. Fix uh, continually uh, being uh, prompt from the from the pin when uh, pairing a device. Then it says fix the performance uh, graph being reset to icon when changing to enhance 1080p or enhance 4K. And that's for remote play. Now for Linux, and I think this is the last one, it says fix some causes for Steam Web Helper uh, crashes, fix uh, slow startup on busy systems, fix startup delay when running in flat pack environment, change the default scale from 200% to 150% on a 4K monitor. Then it says fix a case where the store tab would fail to display any content after maximizing the Steam window. Then it says fix a case where the windows may become unresponsive until resized. Then it says no longer uh, listing incompatible options under an application compatibility settings. Fix a situation where Steam would attempt to execute the Windows version of a title without using Steam Play. And, and, that's, all, and that's all the update for Linux. Okay, now got one more article to go through and then we're done. And it says says this. Your Steam Deck will run load. Your Steam Deck will run loads more games if you grab this free update. <laughs> and it says here, Proton 9.0 performance in the finals while adding improved support for older games like Far Cry 2 on Valve's handheld gaming PC. It says here, uh, Proton 9.0 is available to download on Steam Deck and it's brings some considerable improvements with it, not just for portable gaming, but also for gaming on Linux systems in general. Downloading this free update will bring new life to your Steam Deck and it adds loads more uh, playable games to Valve's pocket powerhouse. <laughs> Says the Steam Deck sits in a class of its own when it comes to Linux uh, gaming because no other major handheld manufacturer actively uses the operating system. Competitors such as the ROG Ally and Lenovo Legion Go uses Windows. But yeah, the Steam Deck can use Windows too. Anyway, says there instead. And the debate is never ending as to which is the b best to use for a handheld gaming PC. Steam Deck. Anyway, says here, one disadvantage of Linux it is compatibility with anti-cheat software, as well as game uh, delivered via apps that aren't currently available on Linux, such as Xbox Game Pass. And it says here, uh, over time, Valve has worked timeless, tirelessly on the Proton compatibility tool to correct this situation, which all, while also focus on, focusing on older titles, bringing their compatibility up to modern standards and breaking down any accessibility issues that have arisen. Then it says here, 
if I can get this. <laughs> oh, it says, uh, with, with the full release of Proton 9.0, the new update again adds a swat of uh, games uh, previously, o previously only compatible with Proton in its experimental sta state. These new Steam Deck games includes Dino Gen Online uh, photography, photography, simul photography Simulator Demo, uh, George McKeon, Gamer Hero, The Finals, True Reporter, Mystery of uh, Misswood, Road to Vostok uh, Demo, Witch on the Holy, Holy Night, Lords of the Ring, Golem, Sonic Colors, Ultimate, Command and Conquer, Red Alert, and Yuri's Revenge, and Tiberian Sun and Firestorm. Then it says, uh, a alia aliasing and uh, Tavern of Elves. Sneers of, of Ruins 2, Instantly Blade, and, uh, and uh, Walls, Bloody Walls. It says there are uh, noticeable uh, titles in this update fix, fix is the, the final, which may have seen it's probably cooled off somewhat since its initial release, but it's still a game that plenty of Steam Deck and Linux users are keen to play. And then it says... Uh, with global low settings and AMD FSR 2.0 sets the balance, the game runs at a fairly consistently consistent 60 frames per second on Steam Deck. The final first become playable using Proton Experimental in January 2024 and with all the full release of Proton 9.0, this compatibility has only improved. Valve may now end up re uh, re the retesting the finals and upgrade it from the current unsupported rating it is uh, branded with. Then it says additional, uh, some of older games that are, were not playable due to numbers of cores on modern uh, processors are now playable due to this update. Then it says uh, making them uh, ignore the higher, uh, higher core count these uh, games include Far Cry 2 and 4, The Witcher 2 Assassination of Kings and Ants Edition, Laura Croft and the Guardian of Light, Warhammer uh, Space Marines, Dawn of War 2, Dawn of War Chaos Rising, Dawn of War Retribution, Outcast, and Second Contact Prototype. And then it says, uh, if you were already using beta version of Proton, Proton 9, the full release will install automatically. When you next load up your Steam Deck, if not, you can you can head to the store, uh, search for Proton, and download it for free of charge. Yeah, the Steam Deck has uh, been uh, updated. Then it says uh, if you need some inspiration for what to play next. Anyway, <laughs> look, your Steam Deck has been updated, so yeah, Valve is on it, and. Uh, Based on the two articles that I just read, uh, you know, they fixed a lot of things, you know, and um, the first article that I did, they were, I mean, they, they broke it down. They fixed, they fixed a lot from Linux, from a Linux standpoint, meaning operating system to remote play. They fixed uh, Steam input, Steam cloud, big picture mode in general. Again, the second article I read just add on top of that, so. Yeah, you guys have been updated there. <laughs> so yeah, Val Valve is on it, man. They're not they're not playing, man. They've been they've been coming out with updates nonstop, and you know, and you're seeing it now. There's an issue with Apex Le Legends with with uh, EA and Respond Entertainment. Maybe they forgot to tick the box, but they need to uh, fix that uh, game because there's a lot of people playing that game. So yeah. You know, um, there's gamers everywhere, gamers on Mac, gamers on Windows, gamers on Linux, and of course consoles. So, um, in, the, in, the, in the age of, so, uh, of communication, meaning email system, podcasts, blogs, uh, video conferencing, and of course social media, hey, there's no excuse, you know, so uh, EA and Respond need to get on that. And then I think, and Valve is probably going to follow that up too with a new updated version of Proton. But 
Other than that, you guys are good. News, deals, games, update. The usual stuff, but you have been updated there. <laughs> so yeah, that should hold you for now until the next batch of updates come out. So I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on. But um, other than that, take care of yourself. Take life one day at a time. Have fun gaming. If a game becomes too challenging, take a break and then come back at it. You know, you got 365 days and plenty of hours to play. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, have fun and um, keep, you know, have fun gaming, you know, and I'll, and I'll keep you guys up to date. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Good boy, Darkseid. I'm going Peace.